Rightio folks, today we're going up against the Fulcrum in our Tomcat. We'll do our best and see how we go. He should be a rather worthy adversary. Oh, thankfully he throttled off. Lost of visual for a second there. Oh well. Round we go, come on. Gotta be very careful going up against the Fulcrum. Extremely Target agile, extremely good thrust to weight ratio. Okay, he's locking us 12 o'clock. Well, he's gone. he's trying to lock us. Fulcrum, seven o'clock, one mile, passing 500. Hey, come on. 430 now. Speed 350. 12 o'clock high, 310, better now. This is proving very tricky, but we're almost on his six. Okay, on his six. Three six zero knots. Three one zero knots. Twelve o'clock high. He's right in front of you. I know. I can see him, Jester. What are you laughing about, Jester? I'm trying, he's moving around and I don't have rudder pedals. Speed is 380. Okay, that's 300. There we go, a couple of decent hits, and he's out! Looks like we set his engine on fire or something. Let's have a look. No, we just set him on fire. That is one dead fulcrum. Radio Tomcat versus Fulcrum Fox 1s. We'll get them on radar. And then we'll do a single target track. STT lock. Okay, where is he? There he is. You got it. Okay, get him on Here the TV. Right, we Landed. got him on the TV. 360, 24 miles. I have a lock. Now we... Target, 23 miles. Shut up, Jester! Now we've only got two sparrows, because he's only got two R27 ERs. I'm pretty sure his missiles are longer range than ours, but we'll see what he does. Okay, so he's fired at us, but he's also, he's broken to his left. So if we go off to the left over here, he should lose radar lock, I hope. And then his missile will go dead. But I don't, I just hope he does, hope he loses radar lock. Okay, he's fired another one. Here we go, Fox 1. Okay, our missile's gone. That's good. He fired a missile, but he's got no radar lock on us anymore, so both of his missiles are dead. So if our missile connects with him, that's a victory for us, but we'll see. Okay, come on. Come on. Splash 1, MiG-29. Fox 1 round. Oh, that could have gone badly. Thankfully it didn't. Oh well, Fox 2's now. Rightio, Fox 2's versus Fulcrum. There he is. Let's try doing a, a split S. Just going to be very, very careful. He's got R73's. He's Okay, so he's stayed high. Does he know where we are? Probably. Okay, we're getting on his Parker six time. now. Bandit, the fulcrum, 12 o'clock low. Two miles, 420 and blazing. 320. Okay, we've got a lock. Got this There's flares out. Man. Fox two, let's see, did we get him? Or did it go for the flares? Went for the flares by the looks of it. But we are right behind him, which is good. And that's 320. Okay, come around. That's probably the sun or the reflection of the sun on the ocean, don't know. 12 o'clock low. I doubt the AIM-9 would have pulled around at that sort of aspect, so hold off for a bit, see if we can get in a much better position. Okay, come on. I don't know if that's the plane or the sun, it could be either. Looking good, 
six. Speed is three ten. Okay, come on, come on, Fulcrum. Twelve o'clock. Fox two. Has that gone to the sun or him? That's gone past. He missed. Okay. Fox two. Come on, get him that time. Splash one, Mick twenty nine. Fox twos. The bandit is down. I know. I can see him. He's on fire, just falling out the sky. What is so you got a parachute? Yeah. Yeah, bowed out. All right, final round, Fox 3s. Okay, so here we go in the Fox 3s. Gonna wait till we get him on radar, then STT lock. You got it. All right. He's locked. Target, 35 miles. 35 miles. We'll fire a Phoenix here. We've got the same amount of Fox 3s. Spike, right under so Fox 3. Okay. Push us over on the over to the side a bit. He's not on our TV anymore. I kind of want to keep him on our TV. Bit shaky, mate. Steady the camera. Oh, that was me. <laughs> Should probably lose altitude a bit, actually. Target 25 miles. 25 miles. I was trying to keep him uh, on the camera there while we rolled over. That's why we rolled. Bit beyond 180 degrees, but anyway, we've still got a radar lock, and he's all the way out there. 20 miles. Okay, about 5,000, oh, 2,000 feet. Okay, where is he? He's going evasive. That's good. No idea if he's. 14 miles. No idea if he's actually fired a, an R-77 at us, but you know, we'd get a warning pretty soon if he had. That's a MiG-29. Okay, if we fired here, chances are the missile would just miss. So we are getting closer to him. Side-on aspect. Less than 10 miles, let's fire, here we go. Fox 3. Target. He's just miles. coming towards us. That missile should be Pitbull, so he should be going evasive, and it looks like he is. Or oh, within five okay, miles, though. Let's do this. Hey, slow down a bit. Pretty close. Okay, come on. Come We're on, Phoenix. To go 12 o'clock low. No, it just splashed down in the ocean. We're fast at 560. Okay, uh, we're a bit close for Phoenix, mate. He's like, I, I've got visual low. on him as well. 530, a little fast. I don't want to go guns. We've just done guns. Okay, we'll try a Phoenix at this sort of range. This is really close though. All right, here we go. Fox 3. Okay, 300. Good luck outrunning that, mate. Good luck outrunning that. Is it going to burn the whole way to impact? I don't know. Let's see. Not a very manoeuvrable missile. Though. Oh, hang on! No, it is gone after him. There we go. Got him. <laughs> that was like the closest range Phoenix I've probably ever fired. It was like what a bit over one mile or something. I, was, I don't know. I discarded that memory uh, after I fired it. Just decided to keep chasing it. Anyway, time to fill out the scoreboard. Okay, here we are in the scoreboard. We're up against the MiG-29 in our F-14. We won the guns round, the Fox 1's round, Fox 2's round, and the Fox 3's round. So of course we've got 22 wins, two losses, one draw, and a win rate of 88%, which means that the Tomcat is absolutely OP. And the MiG-29, well, I didn't do as well in that series. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.